Hey people, into tier 53, Typhon Maya, blue team. Adreva is an Inquisitor offensive hero with powerful control abilities, begins in melee but can get specialized ranged weapons. We have the Catachans elite scheme here. Bandanas for everyone. Alongside, Isk Northern is a tech marine, starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. And rounding off this team, Lambinator is a mech boy, a teleporting hero that fights in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, has a bunch of orky gadgets, can also repair, so they have some really good vehicle support potentially on the blue team. Red team, Zinch's Lover is a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and destructive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control, rocking some Black Legion alongside. Zareen is a Force Commander, very good offense, fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support. And rather off the teams, Rogel Dawn with a Plague Champion, starts off with a damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support. In the south, against the Mech Boy, and they're going double CSM, so they might be a little bit shaky in his first fight. Sluggers are piling in. Heretics are there, they get a good Doom Blast. Lucky that it was a lead model Doom Blast in there. They see off the Sluggers, and now they might be able to clean this up with the CSM melee. Another Doom Blast goes in. Meanwhile, in the mid, lots of bolts of fire as brother fights brother. Some Kraken bolts thrown in there. Inquisitor goes after the heretics, trying to get rid of that worship support. A battle crying force commander is doing what he can. There's a lot of bolters though. Tech Marine, Tactical Marines and the Scouts. And they get rid of it. Also the Inquisitor has to run. It's gonna be a close firefight, I think. More CSM showing up. There's some Zinchian worship to infiltrate stuff. Shoot the heretics, then shoot the scouts. Can they get rid of the heretics? They can. Now they get rid of the scouts. There we go. And now. Oh! Tech Marine is building a turret. What's known as a tarantula turret. It's basically a twin linked heavy bolter will suppress and damage any infantry and is firing up here. That's a nasty doom bolts. Ouch. Maybe lucky not to drop two models on that. But the turret's up. Forces off the CSM and forces the attacks to back away. South, the orcs have taken that contested power. You have double CSM in play, one of them with the eternal war. The camera on this map is a little bit weird. Let's me zoom out really far over here because of the height map. That was a breath of noble heal, nicely done. But the plate champion still goes down, I think. Oh, maybe not. 13 hit points and gets away. And now we have some heretic support. They can go into melee and deal with the double shooters who both have. Nope, one of them has big shooters. Double sluggers now, though, for Lambinator. Mid is uncapped, nobody can grab it at the moment. Zareen with Devastators. Now, what is their plan for this turret? We do have a teleporting sorcerer. They could also just flank, they could also just flank around from the north. Maybe. Shotgun scouts in play for Isk Northern. And we have a sergeant. Scouts can also repair. So they have a lot of repair support for the turret there. And now they have a sergeant on the way. In, actually. So a grenade, potentially. If they see the sorcerer teleport to the turret, they can just chuck a grenade on his face. A ton of war for both the CSM now. 20% more damage with melee and ranged combat. Tearing through the sluggers. Let the sluggers come in. Now switch to melee stance to fight the sluggers. More of them coming in, though. And it did not switch to melee stance. Maybe it would have been too risky with double sluggers coming in anyway. Mastercrafted Bolter for the Tech Marine. On demand suppression and a burst of damage with the high powered shot. Here is the Sorcerer. Got a damage of a time sword. Hammer of the Witches, though, and then stab to death. Hammer of the Witch is a pretty good tool to use against that guy. But it's a pretty good tool to use against all heroes. But the Sorcerer is pretty dependent on using his abilities so you can stun him, stop him doing stuff. Or just wait for him to teleport in and then stun him and kill him. That worked too. CSM in trouble. Are they going to get taken out by the turret here? Retreating units taking 75% less range damage, but it, it was a lot of it. They do get away. Devastator's holding the line here for Zareen. They're going to get suppressed though by the shooter boys. Some support for Lambinator. Where is the mech boy himself? He's there. Could teleport in and tie him up, but hasn't yet. Oh, he's, oh, he's capping something. That's why. Grenade. It's a good one. That's a really good grenade from Isk Northern. 
wiped out those tactical marines off the rain. Really good grenade. Got some noise marines now. What have they gone to? Oh! Walked into the sorcerer's corpse. It's a nice idea. Looks like Zareen's having some lag issues, apparently. Made it difficult to dodge that grenade. We'll see how they go for the rest of the game here. Tier 2 for Adreva. Zareen also into Tier 2 right now, actually. Perhaps we'll see a Razor back or something. They've really been held up by the turret. They could have got some Assault Squad or something, maybe. Worship to help out the CSM. There's a heal from the Plague Champion 2 that's gone for the Bile Spewer. There's a Mucus Discharge. Doesn't stop this first Slugger Squad from getting in though. But they've been tidied up by the Heretics. And now more Sluggers coming in. Touch of Noble available. I don't think it is. Oops. It is actually now. 175 for Touch of Noble, but they survived without it. And they wipe out those sluggers and those good fellas had burners. That was that was a decent fight for Rogador. Two to one here for the blue team. Who's this down? Oh, the sorcerer's still down. Is that another turret? It is another turret. Blocking the northern approach. Plasma cannon in play for Zareen. Great choice for dealing with these turrets. Can outrange them easily and do a lot of damage. I don't think they can out repair. A plasma cannon, it will shoot too fast. Power bash from the shooter boys, though. Captain Moon's here to help out from East Northern. Knows that the middle is relatively safe with those turrets coming to the south to help out. Wait for plasma, says Serene. Heretics a new doom blast and a run. And there's the biology spear doing its thing, does really good damage and debuffs on here. It's a great weapon, I think. Short range, of course. Can't chuck green crap that far. Armor of Pestilence on the way for the Plague Champion. Down he goes, though. Can a double CSM deal with these sluggers? Looks like they don't want to try. They are backing off. Mechboy has his big shooter. And they're going to get a full bash now. 2v1 against them. Plasma Cannon. Not shooting at the turret, apparently. Oh, it took out this one, look. There we go, he's going to get the turret. He's going to try and hammer witches the plasma cannon maybe, but that's devastators in your face. No! Not hammer witches, it's Manticore time. Saves the turret, turret now getting repairs. Meanwhile, did they get a full bash? I don't think they got the node. They got some chosen plague marines on the field for Rogal Dawn. That's bad news for the sluggers. Unique to the Plague Champion, these fellas, with damage over time, power melee weapons, and Nurgle's Rock. Heretic's taking a lot of damage here. I think they need to be a little bit more careful with their Heretics now in tier 2, use them much more for support, I think. So the Plague Marines taking a bunch of damage, they will explode on death, which heals themselves, unlike regular Plague Marines that don't heal themselves, they only heal allies. Something that was changed from retail. Plague Marines have kind of been a problematic unit in the game for a while. Just how tough they are with the anti-vehicle utility. Been adjusted a lot over the years. We're losing a power node. Scouts from Isk Northern run into double noise marines here. That's a lot of sonic blaster damage. Holy crap. They're gonna die. Yep. Double noise marines, but with only one model each, and he got it done. Those were fully upgraded scouts as well. Judgment from the Inquisitor up on those Devastators and she dies. Vengeance rounds used at the end there. What is this? Oh, it's Rogal Dawn dipping into the mid. Here's your sluggers. Where are the Chosen Plague Marines now? Oh, they're, they're standing around in the south. I forgot to bring them. Were they capping that? I think they were capping that. There's Touch of Nurgle though on the Heretics. Global ability of the Plague Champion. Makes allied units explode on death, healing and damaging and knocking back. It's a great global. 175 red these days, so pretty expensive. Another manticore doing some work. 
need to try and go after it, but it's easier said than done. Zerine is tier 3 with a Terminator Force Command already. That could go after it. He's got a power fist, he's got a teleporter, and he can retreat. But here's a Dreadnought, this might be able to get it done. Chaos Dreadnought for Zinch's lover. Taking Inferno Pistol hits though. Force Commander gets a revive. He can't level up anymore because of the Terminator armor. For some reason he can't level up. But he gets 2,500 hit points. So that's alright, innit? Going for the Heavy Flamer to bash Gens, maybe? I might go for the Gens here. He's going north. Plasma's galore. Plasma cannon. Sorry, Plasma gun each for the double attacks. And maybe the guards can have them too. Oh, no, they don't. No plasma on the guards. So not quite plasma galore. Ouch. Judgment on the Devastators. Can they set up in time? They can. It's a very gutsy Inquisitor from Adreva. Adreva, sorry. Keep thinking there's an N in there. Blue team haven't lost the VP yet. CSM in melee with those tactical marines. Must have used the high power shot already. No, there it is. Dreadnought doing some decent work. Should be on melee stance, I think, going after those guys. Nope. Did they get a bash? They got a full bash with that heavy flamer. And looks like they're going to be okay. Yes, they got away. Just moving up with the Devastators, trying to create some space for the cat. Meanwhile, a Death Dread with burners and bits for Lambinator is on the power. But look at this, Noble's Rock from the Chosen Plague is creating a bunch of slugger zombies. That's awesome. Where are the Chosen Plague Marines? They're running away now. Didn't drop a model though. Heretics also fleeing. Slugger zombies fall over. And they are going to power bash with the burners and bits, Death Dread. Isk Northern is tier 3. The red team have taken the VP in the mid finally for a 2 1 cat. Tier 3 for Zinch's Love. I've got some late Chaos Space Marines up here. No mark, no upgrades. Adreva with Stormtroopers. No upgrade for these fellas yet either. Tier 3 all round. Sorcerer's taking a bunch of damage here. Is at and teleported away, I think. Yeah, he's teleported over here. Put a dark me. flames on, on the stormtroopers. That was quite spiteful. Just for those fellas, that was. Full power bash. No, they didn't get the node again. Unless it was rebuilt and then bashed a little bit again. I'm not, I don't think it was. Repairs for the Chaos Dreadnought. Heretics and scouts working together. That's like an overshooting, which it often does. If it's on a different elevation, they try and manually adjust it with a ground target. 467 to 330. So Marco Zinc CSM for Zinc's lover. And some more. Chosen Plague Marines soaking up some damage, exploding on death. Here's a flank though on the CSM. It's really bad. Really bad. Are they going to get away from this? Old Death Dread path block the slugger knob there. That might have made the difference, but they get away. Blue team get the mid back. Could get a zombie tactical move, which is fun. Manticore trying to run away from the Terminator Force Commander. I think he's already used his teleport though. Manticore and that central little island there. Whoa! Wiped out. Serene's tactical marines, I think. Here's a venerable dreadnought dropped in. Yeah, those attacks, definitely. Awesome, unique walker for the Tech Marine. Tons of hit points, gonna charge. And getting even more hit points now with the Dark Age of Technology. We're gonna see a Mark of Corn Chaos Dreadnought though. And he's wrecking stuff here, this Venerable. Is this Terminators? Yep, Terminators for Zerine. Assault Terminators, these guys unique to the Force Command. I've seen a lot of unique units today, pretty cool. Those Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields, good versus all targets, and a massive chunk of hit points with the shields. Oh, they cancelled the Mark of Corn. We have a Chaos Predator for Rogel Dawn now. Should be able to shoot down the Death Dread. No mark on it yet, doesn't want to give it now because it will take it out of combat. 
And I think the uh, the damage over time from the chosen plate points is heavy melee. So they are helping a little bit. A rocks dropped in. So it seem like it's too bad. Get a tank dodged it. Other stuff didn't take that much damage. That was alright. They're getting their VP back thanks to these scouts. 467 to 268. Big VP lead for the blue team here. 200. 94. Nice split from the red team. Only a few stuff, a few things hit on the edges. Sorcerer's down though. Not sure what they were up to. Maybe they're trying to get in a position to warp something towards the manticore. They might be able to still do that. What are these guys doing? Just running into death. Marco Zinc CSM just ran into death there. Plasma gun guards and do not mess around. Here comes the venerable dreadnought. Charging through. Looks like it's happy to fight the assault terminators here. It does have melee resistance. And the heavy melee damage would only be doing half to a vehicle, even though it's heavy melee, it doesn't do full damage to vehicles. Whereas the heavy melee of the dreadnought will be doing full damage to the assault terminators with the super heavy infantry arm. It's also being repaired. Leveling up to two. Doing a really good job against those Terminators. They should have gone after the Tech Marine there. Like these Vanguard veterans are doing now. They have a Power Fist. Emperor's Fist used there to escape. No, not used to escape. Used to attack. Terminator Force Commander not helping. Venable Dreadnought is kicking some ass at the moment. There's a lot of fire and dark flames. And a bunch of retreating stuff. Here comes the Terminator Force Commander. Might go after the Manticore. Venerable Dreadnought was amazing. Has taken a fair chunk of damage though, as you may expect. Uh oh. Manticore's not leaving. There we go. That was two hits though. And that wasn't a real armor either. Not sure if they can do this though. There's a lot of plasma guns. 457 to 254 has to run away. Venerable Dreadnought's on retreat path though. Yep, down he goes, that inspirational kill. And I think the Chaos Dreadnought is done for as well, trying to finish off the Manticore. Can it do it? One more burst will do it. It doesn't do it. That was clutch. That was a... Uh, yeah. I think it's a little bit silly to, to run the Dreadnought in. It's worth trying with the Force Corner because it can retreat and, and maybe teleport away and stuff, but did it work out? Land Raider Edema. Land Raider Redeemer on the way for Ismoth and Zinch with a tank on the way. We've got a Mark of Nurgle Chaos Predator. Trying to fend off a knob squad. There's Touch of Nurgle Heretics disrupting them. Chosen Plague Marines in there too. And they're doing well. They are doing well. Knob squad only dropped a single model, but they took a bunch of damage. And they leveled the two as well as they retreated, so that wasn't great. Vanguard veterans jumping in, but they're already retreating, so they can't knock them over. 416 to 254. Strategic point spotted here. We got some sneaky stormtroopers. No, we're losing a victory point Just there. looking at stuff. They don't want to decap because they're going to get destroyed by this, but it did give vision for the Manticore strike. And that might wipe out the plasma cannon. It does. Last Master Noise Marines run. Assault Terminators have. Um, healed up. Here's a Terminator Force Commander back to his feet. Heavy Flamer and a Bowel Spear against the... No, a little bit overkill, fellas. A little bit overkill. Level 5 Plague Champion here. Stormtroopers are grabbing. The VP. I don't think they have Stormtrooper Catachins because Catachin Devils would just be the... Um, the special forces of the Catechins kind of thing. Oh, they got subjugated. That's one way to stop the cat. They can't take damage while they're subjugated, and they do more damage. Chucking a grenade in there. Sorcerer does not want to fight a venerable dreadnought. I don't know, I don't know what he's trying to do. But I guess he was subjugated, but should have run a little bit quicker afterwards. What is this? There's a tank having issues. Yeah, I was going to go after the Manticore, I think. 
south, constant fighting. Here is Serene to help out against the Orcs. This power is bashed. Oh, but so is this one. Now they're going mid. Terminators did drop a model. So they could go claws to really mess the knobs up, but I think they want to keep the thumb members for a bit more anti vehicle utility and stuff. Which is fair enough, they have to fight a land right soon. I don't know if this heavy weapon squad is going to get away. Looks like it will. Big push here from Rogan Gorn. Kind of alone. Zeech's lover does not like this map. Oh, they lost their tank, that's why. 395 to 237. I think it's a really cool map. Yeah, you've, got to, you've got to learn it and be careful. Not every part of every map is good for every unit. Noxus Cloud in the background there. Sorcerer in trouble, needs to run. I think it's going to be alright. 384 to 237. Blue team holding the mid, the land raider there now is going to make a big difference. Missile launcher, I think this hit the terminator for his yeah. judgment up. Refuses to reinforce these noise marines ever. He's happy with just having a blast master. Which I mean, maybe efficient, but as soon as you get pushed, you've got to get rid of them. You've got no leeway. So Zinch thinks this map is horrible for tanks and gets another tank. Also has heretics this time to maybe support it a bit. Nob squad are level two. Look at these heroes here. Inquisitor's got excruciators and Rosarius level four. Tech Marine Melter Gun level six. Signum on the way for Mark Target. The Mech is level four. Making some damage from Marco Zinc's CSM. There's a tank cluster barrage. The tank almost drove into it, level two. And the Plague Champion level six. So has some good gear though. Subjugation is going to be useful. Big fight in the mid. Frag assault. We need to punish a land raider if this is going to drive up and, and frag assault you. Terminators are going for it. Vanguard veterans jumping in as well. Looks like the Chaos Predator is going to go down. Orbital thrown in. No, nope, Chaos Predator lives. Orbital hits something. What is that? It's dead, whatever it was. Some kind of chaos space marine, I think. The Venerable Dreadnought is chasing the Terminator Force Commander, who is in turn chasing the Land Raider. Now teleports away. It did a bunch of damage to it, but it remains. 339 to 228. Zinch's tank has the Marco Zinch for some anti vehicle. Now they know not to try and take it around the northern side. Be careful. Visitors right there. Getting some good shots on the Venerable, which is now level 3. And just killed the Sorcerer. Judgment up on those CSM, but they get the cat. Maybe you should run, fellows. They got a Chaos Shrine in the mid for Zeech. Shooting out some Doom Bolts, there you go. Doing some damage. Double Blast Masters for a one for each player. Manticore continues to be a massive pain in the ass though. And this is a difficult map for getting back there and going after him. And you've tried a couple of times, but it's relatively narrow. Could be quite difficult to get back there. Another shrine for Zinch's lover. Maybe we'll see a Nurgle shrine as well for some heals and stuff. And reinforcements. The tank is going after it again the same way. They're tier 3, they could just get some raptors up with melter guns and go after the manticore. This mech boy is getting shot pretty bad. Some direct hits from those last guns. It's gonna die. Lambert are not paying attention to that. Where are the knobs? Oh, they're fighting down here. Going after the natural VP. These are fully upgraded knobs now with their new jammers. Kicking off in the mid. I hear some auto cannons, yeah. A couple of auto cannons for Adreva. The tank survives. The tank has survived. 
killed the mech boy, did something. The mech boy has been revived already though. Which gave a level to the Inquisitor there. And now he's suppressing stuff from this little cliff. Which is a bit of an advantage for the Eastern team. Look. The Western team don't get a little cliff to sit on. I mean, maybe this one over here. I don't, I don't know if you can get up there though. What is this? Oh, they're grabbing their power back. Oh, he's got some regular Terminators now. With an Assault Cannon. I would have thought they'd go for double Assault Terminators for sure to go after the Land Raider. But do it. Inquisitor going after the tank here. Really ballsy Inquisitor with her Rosarius up. She's going to get it done, I think. She does. Heretic should have tried to tie her up, maybe. I'm not sure if they have time to. 329 to 226 kicking off in the mid. Vanguard veterans not choosing a good target there. They should be trying to fight a venerable dreadnought. Dark target on the assault terminators. They're all going after the dreadnought. Rocket run. Ouch. That's nasty. With marked target as well. Might wipe them out. It does wipe them out. And the Vendred hits level 4. Up to 2629 hit points. I mean, I can see why you wouldn't be lying to the land radio if there's a venerable dreadnought in the way. But you know, last cannons are a thing you can get. Melter Raptors, missile launch attacks. Here comes a land radio Phobos. Oh, cancelled by Zinx's lover. Terminator is getting teleported to safety. I think they would have been okay, but it's a have an aware source to do that for you. Double chosen flavorings. My birthday. Amazing. Looks like the Land Red Redeemer is going to be fine right now. A vile spirit is not the way what you want against the Land Red. 329 to 226. Blue team have the mid again. It's a 2 to 1. This Land Red is making a massive difference for them as you may expect. The Manticore there as well, and the Venerable Dreadnought to run interference. It's a really tough nut to crack. Really tough nut to crack. Sorcerer slides home. There he goes. Because he retreated right after the subjugation animation and he didn't finish. There he goes, he's running now. He wants to slide, let him slide. Tech Marine level 8. Red Team have had this Northern Power for quite a while, I think. It's been bashed now. Which has been handy because their, their Southwest one was bashed quite a few times. Zareen down to two units. We have an edge for now. A power node is now in friendly hands. And Zinch is lower down to three. That's another Chaos Predator now. The third one, I think. And yet another one. A little bit of tunnel vision here. From Zinch's lover, maybe they got some good anti vehicle on the field. But, I mean, I don't know if there's any one thing you can get here to make a massive difference. You need to like maintain and slowly build up, but it's uh, it's tough. Maybe could have got some chaos terminators. Maybe. But again, is that even a good choice here? There's a bunch of plasma guns. Could get claws for the knob squad, maybe. It's more efficient anti wheel you can get. 329 to 163. Chosen Plague Queen is going after the Tech Marine there. He's got a lot of hit points. Yeah, almost a thousand hit points to get through. And he survives. Global repair, blessing got on the side going in. Chosen Plague Queen is going down. Blake Champion is down. Looks like he has the Blake Fist there, which might help get a cap in the mid. Judgment up on his tank. Garton will flee. And Dark Flames on the critic. They can just break their retreat though. Oh, they're not retreating to the land. Oh. Huh. Uh, Draver hasn't set it as a retreat point. What was that? That was not a good plan. Teleported the tank to the sorcerer's location, which was more dangerous. There were, there were double attacks right there, unfortunately. Zinch's lover's down to zero units right now. 
Oh, not even the Sorcerer's up as well. That's probably GG. Blue team looking very strong. It's a fierce fighting in the south, which you often see on this map as they go for the power and stuff. But, um, yeah, they're, the, they're such a good setup for the mid. They're that little cliff that the mech boy can sit on. Had the land raider, had the manticore. And there's the game they conceded, which is fair enough, I think. They gave it a good go. 2 to 1 cap at the end. A driver with a level 8 Inquisitor and tons of resources. Holy crap. Could have got a Bane Blade. Level 10 Tech Marine here. With those spiteful turrets at the start as well, which kind of pinned back the red team a bit. Mech Boy level 5 with that Beamy. Level 2 Sorcerer. Liked his tanks, but uh, they kind of let him down. Had to be a bit more careful with them, I think. Terminator Force Commander here and a level 6 Plague Champion. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.